Instagram adds a new collaboration feature for posts and reels. Google launches a new website for creators with tips, guides and insights. YouTube brings searchable feature into auto chapters. All this and much more coming up in this week's edition of the Connected Church News. I am Nachi Lazarus and welcome. This is the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news each week in just 5 minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of this week is from Twitter. Last week Twitter announced that they are opening up Twitter Spaces hosting option to everyone. Before this announcement, you had to have 600 or more followers for you to be able to host a Twitter Spaces audio based event. Uh, now, uh, of course, you were able to join any Twitter Spaces conversation as a user, but you were not able to host something unless you had a certain number of followers. But now they have opened it up for everyone on iOS and on Android platform. So if you've been on the wall and you've been thinking whether you need to jump into Twitter Spaces or not, then this is a time for you to try it out no matter how many followers you have, uh, host an event and see how it works for you. Uh, I have been telling ministries and churches that uh, audio space is something that they need to experiment with because for some ministries, for some types of nonprofits, this could be uh, an avenue to really minister and serve and uh, bless people in multiple ways. I mean, you can think of many use cases like prayer groups, small groups, discussions, even team meetings, you know. So there's just a lot of applications there. So do have a look. Hi, do you find this five minute news video useful? Then I'm going to ask you to help us reach more church and ministry leaders like you by clicking the like button. Thanks so much. And if you've not yet subscribed to us, please click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss any news episode that we upload every week. Thank you. Now let's get back to our news item. Our next big news of this week is from YouTube. Last week, YouTube made a major announcement about adding search functionality into auto chapters. Chapters are something that uh, has made YouTube now much more useful because when you watch a long video, you, you you can just scroll through to the part that you want to listen to. For example, let's say you are having a message or a sermon on faith and you're saying five ways to build your faith. Now, somebody who's interested in the third way of building the faith, which could be like read the Bible or something like that, can just go directly to the third part and just listen to it. Or if they want to re-listen to one of the points, they can just go directly. So that's what chapters are now earlier only if you as a creator if you added the chapters then that became uh, a metadata or a searchable element uh, in mobile but now as of last week's announcement YouTube says that auto chapters even if you don't add chapters and if uh, you enable the option for YouTube to generate auto chapters and if they do that that also becomes a metadata for search so when people search for a certain keyword YouTube will look through your video see for uh, chapters that talk about that element and actually show it. So it's making bringing search and tightly integrating search into YouTube, which is a good thing for all of us. Our next news is from Instagram. Last week, Instagram released a new collaboration feature called Collapse, uh, which helps you to invite people to collaborate with you on posts and reels. So you would basically create a post and you would invite somebody from the tag option. You would invite somebody to be a collaborator. Now, when you do that, what happens is this post, even though you create it, will appear on their newsfeed and your newsfeed. So you will be able to reach their audience and your audience. And the insights are going to be uh, the same for both the posts. So you basically share everything related to the post. So it could be a great option, especially for ministries, nonprofits, where you have one speaker account. For example, your lead pastor could have an account and then your church has an account. Now you could do a collaboration in between these so that it, when you post it, it appears on both the timelines and the uh, insights are shared, the audience are shared because some audience will follow the uh, personality, but they may not be following the church account. So that way you're reaching both the audiences and maximizing effort. That's just one case study, but basically you can use it in multiple uh, ways. So do take a look. Our next news is from Google. Last week, Google released a new resource for creators. It is a website that's full of tips, insights and tools and videos and all that uh, to help creators become better. The website is called Google for Creators and it has multiple resources. So as 
as a creator, uh, it might be very helpful for you. Have a look. Our final news of this week is from Facebook Messenger. The Messenger team announced that they are releasing new group effects for video calling, group video calling on Messenger, which means you can just take a augmented reality effect, uh, like, you know, putting some mask on or hat on, and you can apply it to all the people in the group chat. So that way you can have a little bit of fun. It's even though this is focused on gaming and having fun in a group call, the interesting thing is that they have added this capability to uh, Spark AR API. So uh, this means uh, you as a nonprofit ministry can take this and you can create your own effects for your ministry. So if you use Messenger, which you should, because I'm a big proponent of uh, using private messaging for ministry and nonprofits. So you, if you use it, then you can take this, send it to your developers and you can develop your own effects and use it for group calls, which makes it much more engaging and much more fun. So I will link to the details in the show notes. Do pass it on to your IT or development team. Those are the top five news items we have for you this week. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.